Undersized guards are almost always counted out. And it makes sense, basketball is a game of height and it's becoming more and more of one each year. But something about the mentality of many small guards makes it doable. It's tougher, but it's doable. And I always say that small guards have to be like Swiss army knives, able to do anything on the court. But if I had to choose five skill sets to really hone in on, there are these ones in this video. And there are so many more, and we target every single one of these in my small guard essentials program, but these are just the five that come to mind. Let's check them out. So first is being really good with contact. Not only being able to play through it, but also create it and use it to your advantage. You're gonna get bumped as a smaller guard. It's what a lot of bigger defenders do. Try to bully that undersized guard to bump them off their line, wear them down, etc. So having the strength and ability to time bumps perfectly, coordinate your dribble and more is key to minimizing this. But what's even more important is being able to be the one to initiate it. Too many smaller guards wait for that contact to hit them instead of being the instigator. When you're able to bump first to throw a defender onto their heels, prevent them from jumping, or remain on your line to the basket, it's a huge advantage. Plus with a lower center of mass, it's just easier to do this when you're a bit shorter. But it takes skill to do this with the right timing and to stay controlled. I have a whole video diving into this in the Small Guard Essentials program, but this is the basic idea. Next is defense. I know, can be boring, but trust me. When I talk to coaches about undersized guards, this is always their biggest concern. Yes, we know they can make plays happen offensively, but can they defend? What happens when they're guarding a 6'4 guard on an island? Players these days are only getting taller, and being able to at least not be a liability on defense is vital. And if you really want to reach your potential and make sure that you're leveling up, learning to use your lower center of mass and quickness to your advantage to be a defensive force is a pretty good plan of action. Next is decision making. The first part of decision making is what we usually consider it to be. Finding teammates, getting players involved, seeing those open players, making the right pass, and doing it without turning the ball over. Now this is obviously huge because as a one, you're likely the head of the offense. Even if you're not the main scoring option, you can be trusted to get it to scores, which is ultimately huge. But it goes deeper than this. It's being that player who just always seems to make the right read, who's able to get past their defender without even thinking because they just subconsciously pick up on things like a defender's momentum, foot placement, attention, and more. Which isn't something we actually think about in a game, the game moves way too fast for that, but comes from a ton of experience playing against live defense. Whether this is finding teammates out of a pick and roll, quickly reacting and making a tough move, or really anything that's almost like a reflex, undersized guards have to be elite decision makers. Number four is shot making. I'm personally not really a fan of that get good at open spot up threes and call it a day crowd. Maybe for, maybe for really athletically gifted players, yes, they can survive off of just making open threes. But if you're an undersized guard, you're gonna need to make tough shots, to shoot and make some off balance, fading, difficult jumpers to adjust and rotate in midair on finishes, to have that floater game down, to have that extra range to help you get your shot off, to make pretty much any shot that you're called on to make. And if you place yourself or any of your players in a box by only getting good at the most basic shots, chances are as an undersized guard, they won't really be a good scorer at any level. And then lastly is mentality, having that air of confidence, never getting rattled, being the extension of the coach on the court, never too high, never too low, never backing down from a challenge. Some of these sound cliche and even corny, but they're musts. You'll never see a successful undersized guard with their head down the whole game or looking mentally weak. And this is something that I truly believe can be developed. Okay, so now what? We have all of these that we need to train, but how? Well, I'll give a shameless plug to my small guard essentials program. It's under $2 a workout for three months, and we focus on every single skill that you'll ever need as an undersized guard. It'll take your game to a whole new level. I can promise you that. So check that out in the description. As always, thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure to find me on Instagram at Basketball for a lot more like this.